A first alert update. We now have new information about cuts to full time positions at St. Norbert College. Yesterday, we learned over three dozen staff and faculty positions are set to eventually be eliminated. Today, the president of St. Norbert opened up about what's driving those layoffs. Holly Brantley talked with her this afternoon and has more on the specifics. So we just looked across the institution and obviously our prime consideration is to make sure that we can still deliver on the promise of a really solid education. St. Norbert College President Lori Joyner speaking out after 29 staff members learned they'd have to look for another job. Another 12 employees, including several faculty members, also learned their positions would eventually be eliminated over the next year. Mostly staff positions, so positions um, in areas where we might be able to streamline, restructure to gain some efficiencies. As a Catholic Norbertine institution, our number one priority is to make sure that this education is accessible and affordable to our students and families. Joyner explained the cuts are in part a result of the current dilemmas facing colleges and universities across the country, including a lower number of students. It's really important for people to understand that you can be fundamentally solid both educationally and financially, but as demographics, um, produce fewer 18 to 22 year olds, you have to sometimes adjust the size of your organization. We asked President Joyner if more layoffs could be coming in the future. We hope not, but I wouldn't want to speculate, you know, into the future. As for students, they say every staff member matters and they feel the news is sad. Very important. Um, you know, you want to get the best education you can, you know, for your future. Joyner has this to say to students and families. I want to tell them that this education is rock solid and that these, um, these eliminations, while painful because there are valued colleagues that we care about deeply and that we continue to walk with, will have zero impact on the quality of education or care that their students are provided. President Joyner says again this was a tough decision. She wants to reiterate to students and parents there will be no disruption in learning. In DePierre, Holly Brantley, Action 2 News.